Hey guys, this is David, and it is Two Minute Tuesday. And let's get started right now. I don't know what that was. I love getting to pray with people. Can we pray for people? Sometimes we tend to go into like autopilot. Lord bless them, thank you for this time. Lord, uh, help them with their studies. But I believe that sometimes when we pray for others, it is an opportunity for God to speak through us, speak through you, to give them a message that he wants to relate to them. I remember a time when I was praying for someone. It was the weirdest thing. I just got the word jelly bean. And I said, hey, I thought the Lord just wanted me to share with you the phrase jelly bean. This girl starts crying, jelly bean! I don't know what that meant, but for her it meant a lot. For me, it was awkward, but as I shared that with her, I was just stepping out in faith, walking out on water, and for her, it meant everything. And you're praying with someone. Number one, don't go into autopilot mode. Number two, keep an open ear to hear what the Lord's saying. Number three, dare to walk on water. It's uncomfortable, but who knows what God could do? Maybe you're praying for someone. The Lord's just putting in your heart, like, man, there's stress in their life. Just start praying for that. Lord, if there's any stress in their life, pray that they would be able to rest in you, Lord. If there's anxiety, you say, I just pray for the peace of God that passes all understanding. Just be open. Open as you're praying, create room for God to speak in that prayer and also a year to hear from the Holy Spirit what the Lord is saying. And don't be afraid to go into that. Number four, don't be definitive. You don't have to say, hey, thus said the Lord, you're stressed out. You don't have to do all that. Unless you want to speak like the King James English, but you don't have to do that. Just ask questions. Hey, uh, are you going through any anxiety right now? And they say, no, but okay, that's cool. I was just wondering. I, I thought maybe I was hearing that from the Lord, but that's okay. And you just keep going on and praying. But if they're like, yeah, I am going through that. So you just start praying for that right then. And you just keep Ask the Lord, is there anything else you want me to pray for? Is there anything else you want me to, to speak into this person's life right now? Now, it may sound vague. For that person, it might not be vague. That might be the very thing they're going through. And for you, you're learning to develop your spiritual prophetic ear to hearing God's voice. He may not give you license plates numbers and social security numbers and addresses. He may just start with little. And Paul says, we know in part and we prophesy in part. He was faithful or the little will be steward over much. So be faithful in the little bit that God's giving you. That's another way you can develop your prophetic ear to hear from the Lord. And it will impact not just you growing in this gift, but it will impact the person that you're praying for. This is Too Many Tuesday. I hope it blessed you. I hope it encouraged you. If it did, do me a favor. Like and subscribe. Smash the subscribe button or just destroy it. Whatever. Whatever you want to do, just click it. Um, subscribe to this channel. And do me a favor. If there's someone that you know that's trying to grow in hearing from the Lord or grow it in uh, the prophetic gifting. Do me a favor, tag them in this or share this with them so that they could they could learn and they could grow in this. Hopefully it'll bless them as well. And do me a favor, if you've done this before, I'd love to hear your testimony. I'd love to hear how that has worked in your life. So do me a favor, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear. I'm sure it'll encourage others as well. Guys, this is Two Minute Tuesday. Talk to you later.